Hello and welcome to the Future Fuel Cafe. In this video, we're gonna be looking at an amazing piece of AI software that's a plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro, which does your, effectively does your video editing for you. It's called AutoPod and it's absolutely insane and I've been using it for nearly the last month and it's completely changed how I edit videos. So AutoPod has three main features. It has something called Multicam Editor, another one called Social Clip Creator, and it has another one called Jump Cut Editor. And these combined together are absolutely amazing and completely change how you edit videos. Multicam Editor is basically a long form video podcast editor and it will do any podcast. It will do up to 10 people and 10 audio devices all at the same time. Social Clip Creator will basically reformat any widescreen video that you have. So for example, if you wanted to take one of your widescreen videos and make a reel or make it generally portrait and you wanted to use it on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, it will do that for you. And it will do that basically by using an in and an out point on Premiere Pro. That easy and it will do everything else for you. The jump cut editor will basically take any video that you have, a raw video clip, and where you are speaking in it and there's any pauses in between, it will get rid of those pauses and put the video together for you and it will do that in seconds. So this is how you get access to AutoPod. You're gonna to go to Google and type in AutoPod. You're gonna click on the first website right there and straight away it says automatic editing for video podcasts and shows. So something for you to be aware of at the minute is that this is only available for Premiere Pro and in the future there may be you know releases or something but it's not planned at the minute. With AutoPod, you get a three months trial, and then after that month's trial, it's gonna cost you $29. So you go back here onto the main website, you can either click here where it says start a free trial, or if you wanna look at the pricing in a little bit more detail, you can click there, and then as you come down, you can see straight away, this is what you get included, all of the different features that I've already spoken about. And then here, you're gonna click on start a free trial. Once you've put in your email details and you've put in your payment method, you'll get an email sent to you. And it will look something like this. It will say basically, thank you for your order. And you're gonna scroll down to the bottom and you're gonna click download AutoPod. So then once you've done that, you're gonna come through to this page and it's basically gonna tell you at the top your order number, but you wanna scroll down to here where it says files and you have three different files, one for Windows and the other one for Mac. Now, depending what you use, myself, I use Mac. So I downloaded that. Once you've done that, you're gonna follow the instructions and you're gonna basically install the software very easily. And then once you've done that, you're gonna jump on the Premiere Pro and I'll show you how you basically find it from there. So the first one I'm gonna show you is the Multicam Editor. I'm gonna show you how it edits a podcast. In this podcast, you'll see here, we've got the audio for my friend Yulina. And then we also have the audio for myself where it says there and there. And then the videos up here, I have myself and I have my friend where it's labeled. So now what I'm gonna do is you have to basically have all of the clips nested first as one entire sequence. And then what we're gonna do is go back up to the window to the extensions and I'm gonna click on the multicam editor. And here you would normally put in your email and your activation keys. So after you've done that, you're gonna see you presented with the screen here and the cutting method I'm gonna go for enable disable because the way it sometimes cuts, sometimes I wanna be able to change that. So doing that will give me the ability to do that. Then after, I also like my shots to be a little bit low. I don't like it chopping and changing very fast. We have two speakers and we have two cameras. So you can see here the audio and A1 is Yulina. So we can put that in. And then the second one is myself. So we'll call me my name. And then we can see with the video on V1, that is my friend Yulina. And then on the second one, that's me. Just a quick tip. If you go up to here and press new, you can save it as Danny's podcast. Yeah, we'll go Danny's podcast and press save. So anytime you come back to do this, instead of typing it all out again, you can just click that and it'll have the settings in there for you. And now we just press create multicam edit and see what happens. And we let it do its thing and we'll watch it in real time. But just to be able to see it do this and have the potential at this very early stage to be able to edit and change someone's workflow and basically think of this like a tool and it be able to be an aid to you and just speed up your workflow and do the little bits that would be tedious or maybe sometimes take too long. And this, yeah, like I said, is crazy. Okay, and it's moving, we've got action, yeah. <laughs> just wow, just absolutely wow. You can, you can see right here, it, yeah. <laughs> that is blistering through that. AI is uh, cutting 
the podcast right now. I, I'm, I'm not doing anything. My hands are off. You can see. I'll move the mouse. You can see it's loading here, but my hands are off. And the screen is, yeah. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. But even that, just to have all of this done for you like this, at literally the click of a button and type in a few details. There we go. Successfully completed. So if we press OK, and now we can have a look at what it's done. So you'll see straight away here as well, just before I press play, that some of the clips are highlighted and are a little bit dark like this one here. That's because where we've said here on the cutting method, we wanted it to have enable and disable in case any of the cuts it made we didn't like, we can manually go back in there and change it. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Behind the scenes, a bit of yeah, behind the scenes, it's going right. to be great. This is even in the video, I don't know. <laughs> Ladies first. Okay, perfect. Yeah, uh, you can see straight away, I think at the beginning here, the first 10 seconds or so, it was jumping a little bit too much. But that's why, again, you can go in there and change that and, you know, re-edit the cuts that it's made. But the fact it's even given you a foundation where it's just gone in and allowed you to do that. I mean, if we go to a different part, maybe here, I, believe, I think I'm speaking here. Yeah, so here, for example, let's say this is where I'm speaking here, a little bit about myself, but it's actually shot to the other camera. So if we right click on it and we go down to enable, you can see straight away that's popped back up. And now if we click play, you can see it's given us that ability to then go on to the bit where I'm speaking. And it, even if none of this is perfect, and some other videos are, it depends, but the fact it can just give you an amazing foundation like this or an idea of how you want to edit the podcast, I think this is, yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. I'm honestly blown away. I think that is absolutely incredible. Really is, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, that's the multicam editor for you. Let's jump on to the next one. So the next one that I'm going to show you is called the social clip creator. And now this one, I honestly use a lot and I use this to reformat a lot of my videos to make shorts out of them. I throw them on TikTok, I put them on Instagram and I use them for YouTube shorts as well. So on this example, I've used one of my previous videos, which I made very recently about chat GPT. And I'm using this bit here. You can see, and I've also put an end point and an end point. And this is basically where I want the video to start and to finish. And this tells AutoPod where to start and where to finish. So here I'm basically using this extract of the clip here that basically says this video is about ChatGPT. So you can sort of say like a hook, you want to know more, come and watch the whole video and you know, the link will be in the description or something. So we're going to go straight up to the window again, and we're basically going to do the same as last time. Instead, now we're going to go to the social clip creator. And here straight away, once you've logged in, you'll see you have all these different options on top and it will basically allow you to do a, a widescreen HD 1080p version, a little bit tighter, or the one that I am interested in is a 1080 by 1920. And what you wanna basically do is click the box here. So you want it to be this one, which I've just said, but you also want it to do the auto reframe. And this is where the real magic happens. So we click that and don't forget, we're saying we want that in and an out point. So it knows that we don't have to worry about any of this. And what we're gonna click now is just create clips and we're gonna see what happens. Instantly, it's done that. I don't even think that took a second. So if we just minimize this and click play. Yeah. And you can see. But it's chatbot, it's AI, and it's all the rage right now. Yeah, it, it's cut the video perfectly. It didn't, it didn't even load. It, it took a, a second for like that. I, I've got to be honest, I have used this the most and it has just been absolutely a, cha a game changer for me because originally I would have to go through any video that I wanted to make a short of. I would have to go through and yeah, manually resize it, redo all of it. And right now it's done this in seconds. And then if you want to add subtitles to the video, well now as well, you know, Premiere Pro has that automatically built in. It's it's crazy and the AI just, it just allows you to do so much more. This is what this can do and I hope it gives you just an idea and shows you why I love it so much. So the third and final one that I wanna show you is called the Jump Cut Editor. Now this is basically something, if you have a raw clip maybe of a vlog or some sort of video where you're speaking to the camera, I guess something like this, 
then if there's any sort of pauses or gaps in between that you have to go through manually normally and cut and remove and then stitch those clips together, this will do that for you, but automatically. So here I've actually got some old footage, some very old footage actually, from where about five or six years ago from when I first started making videos on YouTube. Now here I haven't touched the clips. You can see there's gaps in between at different bits, a very big one there, another big one there, and sort of just spread out a little bit. So what I'm gonna basically show you is how it will get rid of those gaps and sort of stitch them together in a sense. So first off, remember, all of the clips have to be as one. So on this, we can nest it again. And then after, we're gonna go back up to extensions. This time, click on the jump cut editor. Now, once it's logged in for you again, you'll see here it has uh, the DB cut off. So for me, what I like to use and what I've sort of had good results with is around the 30, maybe 35 mark, but I tend to stick to 30. Let's click it, create jump cuts and see what happens. And straight away, it's doing something. Yep, and straight away like that. <laughs> and it's done. <laughs> what was that, two seconds? Something like that. And if we zoom in again here, so you can see there's a cut here. And I mean, I haven't actually watched any of this back yet myself, so. Let's just have a quick look at it and see what it looks like. So hello, this video is gonna be different oh, wow. compared to my other YouTube videos. <laughs> this video is actually here to help you. Uh, and basically a wish by what? Well, yeah, I've definitely um, changed a bit. <laughs> I genuinely have not watched any of this footage, I think, since I made the videos about, yeah, about five years ago. So you can see straight away where you can just see where it's clumped together now. I mean, bear in mind, this is when I first started doing videos, so you can apply it a bit differently. But just with this being able to do that, I mean, even in this patch here, there's another few cuts. Traveling, then, then they know it's gonna be about traveling, so it's not confusing the audience. Crazy. <clears throat> and just straight away again, just where the cuts are, and it's just spliced them together. Again, it's not perfect on a couple of them, but that's when you can either lower that number, you can make it a little bit higher, you can play around with it, and that's what you're gonna have to do with this. I hope it gives you a rough idea of what you can do with this jump cuts, and you can find a way to make it help you, and if you're a podcast editor, then again, you've got the tools right here, and for me, where I use it to reformat it, the videos to make them for reels, social media clips in general, shorts, TikTok, that sort of thing, there's just something here for everyone. And I think even at the very least, you get a one month free trial and you'd be silly not to just to try it and play around with it. I hope you found it really helpful and going through the different features that Autopod gives you and you know, how it can change your workflow, speed it up, make you more efficient. And just to sort of show you what's happening in the world of AI at the minute, going forward, you've got Adobe bringing out Adobe Firefly, which if you have not seen the video to that yet, I will link that down below but that is actually next level crazy sort of stuff that they're gonna be doing as well. And I believe they're gonna integrate that in all of their suite. Other than that, I hope you found the video helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to this channel and becoming a part of the Future Fuel Cafe community. I plan on making more videos similar to this about video editing, AI, chatbots, chat GPT, mid journey, all of that sort of stuff. So please consider subscribing and joining this community, this channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.